And here we go again. Welcome to the official European League of Football show today with quarterback Zach Edwards from the Barcelona Dragons, who became the TU MVP in week 12. But first of all, we are taking a look at the latest games and results from week 12. We saw one game on Saturday, the Barcelona Dragons and the Stuttgart Search. Well, this game was won by the Dragons with 62 to 8. And with this win, the Dragons were the first team that clinched a spot in the playoffs. What a fantastic season. Congratulations, Barcelona Dragons. And then on Sunday, the football weekend continued with five games. The Sea Devils won against the Thunder with 39 to 17. And they are the second team that we are going to see in the playoffs. Congratulations, Hamburg. And then we saw an incredible football thriller in Duisburg between the Galaxy and the Rheinfire in front of more than 12,000 fans in the stadium. And the atmosphere was as thrilling as the game was itself. And it was won by the Rheinfire in the very last second with a crazy field goal with 23 to 21 on, uh, as the final result. And then the Rams, they played against the Vikings in Vienna. And the Austrians, they won this game with 37 to 22. And they are the third team that we are going to see in the playoffs. Congratulations, Vienna Vikings. And then the second Austrian franchise, the Raiders, they won against the Cologne Centurions with 45 to 20. And last but not least, the Rotzlev Panthers, they won this game against the Leipzig Kings with 41 to 37. Well, and after week 13, the playoff picture hasn't changed much. As mentioned before, three of our franchises, they have been confirmed. Uh, the Hamburg Sea Devils on first, the Vienna Vikings on second, and the Barcelona Dragons on third place, with the Raiders Tirol on fourth position, but with Rheinfire, the Galaxy, and Thunder still in the run for this. And of course, all of them, they want to be playing in Klagenfurt on September 25th at our big championship game. For those of you who haven't done it, go on the European League of Football website, go get your tickets, come to this game. It's going to be a wild and crazy football party weekend, even though we do not know which teams are going to make it or which teams we are going to see over there. I can guarantee that it's going to be an incredible game. And maybe we will see my guest on the field, quarterback Zach Edwards from the Barcelona Dragons and our Chio MVP in week 12. Here he comes. Hello, hello. Welcome back, Zach. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me on. Thank so you. So good you. to have you back. How are you? And I mean, congratulations. What a fantastic season. How did you guys celebrate on Saturday? Um, well, thank you. We appreciate it. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of us, uh, you know, just were happy to be uh, that first team to clinch playoff spot and come a long way from last year and a uh, long way to go. But uh, it was a big step in the right direction for the Barcelona franchise. So happy to happy to take it. It was a huge step. And you just mentioned it. I mean, the first season wasn't the easiest. And you've been there from the beginning. What's been different this year? You guys were strong straight from the beginning. Yeah, no, I think a lot of us uh, just kind of took what happened last year to heart and knew that that wasn't the team that we, we truly were and tried to do everything we could to turn it around for this year. Had a great off season and uh, really just came together collectively as one unit and from the jump uh, got off to a good start. And when thinking about your teammates, you as their quarterback, what do you want to say to them? Uh, thank you. Uh, they've, been, they've been an amazing group. Uh, I'm very blessed to have a talented group of guys around me um, and all all facets of the game, offensively, defensively, special teams. Uh, we definitely wouldn't be where we are, and I wouldn't definitely be on this show talking to you if uh, I didn't have a great group of guys around me. So very thankful yeah. for that. You do have a great group of guys. One of them is Kyle Sweet. We all know about your special connection. But your running backs, Monto and Trivines, they seem more involved recently. Do the Dragons plan on running the ball more often in the next few games? Um, I think those guys are really uh, hitting their full stride. Uh, I think they both do some great things for us. Tony is great out of the backfield catching the ball as well. Um, I hope so. You know, if we get a good look and uh, we, we think we can be successful that way, then we'll definitely take it. Um, uh, they're coming a long way and they're continuing to get better every week. So I'd be happy to hand it off to them as many times as they need. Well, and then your head coach, Andrew Whitinger, he joined the Dragons this year. 
And he is one of the youngest head coaches that we have, but clearly one of the most experienced ones with years in the NFL. What kind of coach is he? How would you describe him? Uh, he's an amazing guy. He, uh, he's, he's a lot of fun to work with. Um, he comes with a great attitude every week. Um, and more than anything, he puts us in great positions to be successful. He, uh, like you said, he has a lot of experience from his past. And uh, he takes that and really applies it to our weekly preparation, how we practice, how we watch film, uh, the certain things we do to attack uh, other teams. And so far, it's been turning out pretty well. Uh, we've been successful that way. And uh, I'm happy to do whatever he, whatever he says. <laughs> and with a coach like Widinger, how do you guys go about game planning for your opponents? Yeah, so well, in this league, we all we play every team twice. So it's it's kind of nice that now at this time of the year we've we've played every team already. So we go back, watch that game, uh, see stuff that we did well, see stuff that we didn't do so well, and then uh, kind of look at their past opponents, how they've been playing teams that do similar things to us, and then uh, kind of just put together a game plan based on what we think we can do well to exploit what maybe they don't do as well. So. Um, a lot of intricacies, but uh, he does a great job at explaining it thoroughly to us and putting it into the game plan. He does. Shout out to Andrew Weidinger. But now you, yes. Zach, I mean, you've shown everybody what an incredible quarterback you are. And we spoke about this in one of our last interviews. You only played Division Three college football, which obviously doesn't mean a thing when it comes to you. Zach, you are the all-time passing yards leader with over 5,000 passing yards, season one plus season two. And when looking at the stats from this year, 10 games played this regular season. You are the number one passing leader with 2,769 yards. And you are on fourth position in rushing yards, in the rushing yards ranking with 469 rushing yards. I mean, come on, how do you do it? <laughs> uh, um, honestly, the rushing yards, just, they kind of just happen. Uh, you know, getting out of jams, you know, sometimes uh, defenses do a great job covering our guys downfield. and. It leaves me a wide open space to run in front of me. So, <laughs> um, but no, like I said, I have great, great receivers around me. Uh, Kyle's been doing this thing all year. Makes, makes my job a lot easier. And then Coach Wagner as well, putting us in positions to, for me to make easy throws, uh, for me to uh, make plays when I can. And uh, it all has kind of just come to fruition. Well, let's be more precise then. What's your secret for escaping sex and extending plays? Um, it's, there's not like one thing, it's kind of hard thing to describe. You kind of just have like this, uh, this feel, you know, the, as a quarterback, you have this kind of internal clock when you feel like a defensive lineman or a linebacker's coming. And then at that point, you kind of just, uh, you kind of just let your instincts take over and get out of there. But, uh, I don't have, I don't have, uh, in stone answer for you on that one. Kind of <laughs> well, whatever you do, it's it's been working pretty well. What do you prefer, facing zone or man-to-man -man defenses? Um, I'm gonna say I like man-to-man -man defenses. I think uh, I think with my receivers, I think it offers a good uh, good opportunity for those guys to get open. Uh, they're good at what they do and good at running away from people. And um, as well as uh, there's a lot of things you can do with man to man. Normally you get pressure if it's man, but uh, I think if you get the ball out on time, it's and you have good receivers, it's it's tough for defense. And what will we be seeing in week 13? You'll be playing against the Vienna Vikings. Is it going is it going to be more zone or man to man? Um, it'll be interesting. Everybody plays us a little bit differently because uh, we have Kyle on the field, so some teams like to double him. Uh, some people like to press them and put a safety over the top. Um, people will do a lot of different things to try and mess with them. So uh, we'll kind of see. Uh, the first game, uh, they they gave us some man looks as well as a safety. I'd kind of follow Kyle around. But uh, we'll see. You know, they might have a different plan of attack. Um, I don't know for sure. Well, we won't know until Sunday. But um, exactly. I'm expecting a little bit of both, I'm sure. I'm sure. And when looking at the playoff picture from today, well, you are third, the Vikings are second, and third mm -hmm. will play against second at the second stadium. So, which means you will be playing in Vienna right now. How much of a difference and how much of an advantage would it be to play such an important game at home? Um, I think it's huge. Um, these next two games will be big for us. Uh, obviously, we play the one and two seed right now in Hamburg and Vienna. 
Uh, so a lot of uh, the seeding will shake out in the next two weeks and will be determined by us and how well we play these next two weeks. But I think uh, just to not have to travel will be uh, will be big. It'll um, obviously coming from Spain, going to either Hamburg or Vienna would be a long, a long travel. And uh, obviously traveling is never fun. So we'd love to play home. And then our Dragons fans are one of a kind. Uh, yes, I know they would love nothing more than to have another game day down in Rios. So uh, if we can get home in front of them, I think it'd be a great advantage for us. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They would just celebrate. They would go crazy. That's for sure. So what's your strategy for yeah. the next two or the last two regular season games? Uh, will you save some energy or do you go all in? Because the, the spot and the position in the playoffs is so important for you. Uh, no, we're going into both games. We want to win. We uh, we know that if we win these next two games, we put ourselves in a great position to uh, get a home field advantage, and that's something that we're working towards. So uh, basically our game plan is just play our football and do the things that we do well, and hopefully they'll take care of themselves. We, uh, we lost a close one to Vienna last time, so we're excited yes. to head back out there and uh, hopefully get our revenge. And then Hamburg <laughs> uh, week two was a great game came down to the wires so we expect a, another great game here in Reyes as well i hope it's going to be a great game because i'm coming to barcelona in week 14. yeah i will yeah, be there i can't uh, wait but first first time in Reyes, right yes first time first oh, yeah, time I, i'm very much looking forward oh, yeah. to this game yeah you'll love so, it but yeah you'll love it it's a great time fan questions number one do you like dragons <laughs> this is Coach Andrew's question. I know. It's <laughs> actually, 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 Andrew's I question. received this question more than once <laughs> from different people. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this is his favorite question. And if Coach Wagner watches this, I do like dragons. I love dragons. <laughs> <laughs> and now, what is your favorite thing about your roommate Kyle Sweet? I wonder who sent that question. Uh, yeah, I wonder who. Um, that's a good question. My favorite thing about Kyle is uh, how good he is at receiver. I think I think that's my favorite <laughs> thing about Kyle. That and the fact that he brought um, his Xbox and we can play 2K21 golf all the time. So <laughs> those two, for sure. Okay, speaks for him. <laughs> Why such a big progress compared to last year? Um, I think I think we just got sick of losing, <laughs> honestly. Um, <laughs> We went through some we went through some serious ups and downs last year, and um, the the culture of this team is not a losing a losing culture. Where we believe in ourselves heavily, we think that we're all winners, and uh, I thought, I think it, we kind of came to the conclusion that enough was enough, and we came in this year hungry and ready to get after it. And will you come back in two thousand and twenty three? Uh, I I don't know. We'll see. Um, if the opportunity presents itself, uh, I'd be more than happy to come play uh, in the European League of Football again, for sure. Um, however, I'm definitely going to pursue uh, if I have any options to play in uh, in the in the states. But we'll see what happens. Yeah. And uh, how many touchdowns will you throw to Kyle Sweet at in the next game? Next game, um, I'm thinking two. Um, hopefully three though. <laughs> okay, gonna count that. Will the Barcelona Dragons become the European Eco Football Champion in 2022? That is the plan. Um, I'm not a psychic, but um, we all believe here uh, very strongly in our uh, potential to get there, and we think we have the, the ability to do it. So I'll say uh, that's the plan. And now, how much wood could a woodchuck chunk if a woodchuck could chunk wood? <laughs> Thank you, Michael Sam. <laughs> you like math? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move over to the next one. I think that was more challenging my, <laughs> me. Okay, um, wait. <laughs> now, but this one is really good because, yeah, I could ask this. Why do you run or play as if you are invulnerable and score and scare the Dragons fans to death sometimes with your crazy plays? Um, I don't think they're that crazy. Um, in, in all reality, you know, it's football. I'm going to get hit. 
Um, and I think that it adds another aspect to my game to be a, a run threat as well. I think it makes it harder on defenses uh, when I have to prepare for my ability to throw and my ability to run as well. So um, I don't mean to scare Dragons fans, and I don't mean to scare my mom back home or my grandparents that watch the games because they tell me about it all the time as well. But uh, um, <laughs> I think I think it's an added bonus to what I bring to the game. So. And how do you balance your football and personal life? Um, you know, it's it's not too it's not too hard because uh, a lot of these guys out here are great people. Some of, some of my best friends, you know. So your personal life kind of goes hand in hand, and it doesn't really feel like. You know, you're at work or anything like that. You know, you're here playing football with uh, your best friends and people that you love to spend time with. And on top of it, you get to play a game you love. So personal life and, and I guess work life kind of go hand in hand out here, which is one of the best parts about being able to do this. Perfect. And then last but not least, how do you mentally prepare yourself before a game? Um, I like to stay pretty calm. Uh, I try not to think too much about things. Um, the work has all been put in uh, during practices that week and the tape has been watched. So I uh, just kind of like to stay calm, um, relax, listen to some music, uh, eat some candy and just hang out with the guys and uh, lock in. Well, Zach, thank you very, very much. It was a great pleasure as always. Best of luck for the last two games this regular season. I'm very much looking forward to week 14. But first of all, the Vienna Vikings. Yes, yes, yes. Good luck. Well, thank you for you having soon. me. Of course. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, pleasure to be back. And uh, I will see you week 14. Uh, yes. Go Dragons. Feel the fire. <laughs> Absolutely. See you soon, Zach. And good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye. Now, week 13 is about to start. And let's see what we can look forward to. We have six games, as always. Two on Saturday, four games on Sunday. On Saturday, it all starts with the Berlin Thunder playing against the Istanbul Rams and the Rhine Fire against the Cologne Centurions in this South Conference Derby. And on Sunday, we have the Barcelona Dragons facing the Vienna Vikings, the Raiders playing in Frankfurt against the Galaxy, and then the Leipzig Kings playing against the Stuttgart Surge, and last but not least, the Rockler Panthers against the Hamburg Sea Devils. It is going to be a good weekend, that's for sure. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Go to the games, enjoy the games, no matter if live or on TV. And uh, I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.